go get it, go get it. I work for a real estate private equity firm and I'm the director of operations. So I manage architects, engineers, GCs. I received a bonus over the summer and I'm really excited to put that money that I earned into an investment. Which brings me to my search. Okay. My desire is to find um, a property that I can have either a duplex or an ADU where it can bring in rental income. You know, I want a fixer upper, obviously. Yeah. So let's talk about then how big of a project do you actually want? So because of my background, the uglier, the better, <laughs> the older, the better, because then it makes it an easier decision for me to say, oh yeah, that's all, that all has to go. Square footage, have you thought about that? 12 to 1600 is good. You have gas a lot. Okay, like so two bedrooms. Two bedrooms. Third would be great to turn into a gym. Okay. I'm attracted to homes that have character. So when you walk in, you just feel like someone's has a big hug as you walk in. With older homes, I love the wood. I love the banisters, all the carpentry. What's so the I most need, important thing to you though? Oh, kitchen for sure. Okay. Like I need it to be open like this. The thing about this is like when I'm cooking, I'm not facing my guests. So I'm looking to stay under 700,000 for something that has two units. And I've set aside about $100,000 for renovations. Thanks for picking me up. Yeah, absolutely, I'm happy yeah. to do it. She's met up with her friend and broker, and they're headed to a Victorian fixer-upper in the heart of Denver, with an ADU also on the lot. I'm really excited about this house. How excited are you? Did oh, you see the purple I, floors? <laughs> I think I'm a little scared about it. So they're listed at 700. Which is um, the top of what I wanted to spend, yeah. so, okay. I mean, it definitely looks like it needs some work by the pictures. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it does. Hey, okay, we're we here. Are. The porch is definitely falling down. All right, <laughs> cool. Christina sent me this listing and she really wanted to see it. So here we are. Most of the buyers that I work with would be so turned off by this house. Ooh, I love the staircase. Yeah. So this is a very traditional Victorian. So you've got formal living room, okay. formal dining room. I do love all the trim work. That is yeah. beautiful. And these windows. Absolutely. I bet this can come down. Yeah, yeah that's completely sure. hollow. I bet right. this is brick. Do yep. you think? I would think so. Really? Absolutely. I bet you that we, I can expose this. Yeah. This is so oh, Yeah, the fireplace beautiful. is stunning. Do you see these tiles? These are so cool. Three bedrooms total. Okay. So one of your bedrooms is here. For who? <laughs> you could use it as an office. Okay, maybe an office. And then you've got one bathroom. At some point it was updated. Purple, more purple. Long time ago. So here's your kitchen. Okay. I would have to do this entire kitchen. Which That's to do that, you're probably looking at least at $20,000. What I could do is knock this wall out do a really cool center island here, I could have that kind of open space, yeah. at least here in this area. If you take the wall out, <laughs> that, that 20,000 number will increase Brooks, I don't want, substantially. La, 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 la. <laughs> Bruno is going to hate these stairs. Poor guy, oh my, my goodness gracious. Yeah, <gasps> we got your work cut out for you up here. Yeah. Do you think I can add a bathroom up here? Because there's a bathroom would. downstairs right underneath us actually. Right. I hate to be the bad news guy, but you're probably... <laughs> I wish I brought my earplugs like, and just did this tour of them myself because I feel... You're probably looking think, at, you yeah. know, another 20000 at least. So okay. this would be considered your main bedroom. This room seems fairly big. I like the windows. It needs a, <laughs> a lot of work. But this yard space is something you don't see a lot with the Victorians yeah. in this area. Bruno would Which is go, great for Bruno. Yeah, he would go crazy. Yeah. Let's go take a look at the okay. ADU. All cool. right. Awesome. Hi. Nice space that you could use, you know, definitely has rental potential. So what do you think I can rent this for? You could probably get $1,900 really? a month. Okay, it's cute. I like this tree in front. Get my game face on. Get it on. I like the front so far. Yeah, Looks like they just recently painted and yes. cute little porch. Oh, wow. Smells like fresh paint. <laughs> yes. Newly remodeled. Obviously. Yep. Bruh. I know, I know, I know. But, but it's priced at 640000 Yeah. No, I like it. I like it. I'm just trying to digest it. Because yeah. as you know, I right. kind of want to put my own touch on things. I like the curvature of the walls and stuff yeah. and this archway. That's really cute. Yeah. Very builder's choice 
yes. with this kitchen. Ah, uh, why do why do builders do this? They put electric stoves everywhere. I know. It's just <laughs> that's because contractors aren't cooks, so they don't care. <laughs> but at the same time, it's turnkey. It's ready to go. Ooh, this is tight. This yes. is a small bedroom. Yeah. So this would probably be your guest bedroom. Yeah. Take a look at the full bath. Oh wow, this is tiny. I there's know. no space for all my products. At least there's a tub. So this would be kind of used as your primary bedroom. I like these little shelves. Yeah. Thank you. I will say I do have good vibes as I'm walking through. I love this big open window. It feels good. Good. I see what Brooks is doing here. He's absolutely tapping into my financial thought process here. He knows that I'm also all about the dollars. And so this definitely pencils out. Wow. Yeah, so great patio, you know, all new concrete back here. Obviously could use some landscaping. Whoa, So yeah, yes. ton of space, newly built. I mean, it's even big enough. I can even put some of my home gym equipment in here. Yeah. I love this separate entrance. Right. I like this window. Yeah, I mean, that's a super cool feature to add more light. Ooh, it's so new. It is. This is where I don't mind new. Right. For the rental. Yeah. I would expect you could probably rent this 22, 2400 no a month. Yeah. So. That's amazing. Since Christina wasn't quite ready to make an offer on the duplex, Brooks has found another option in South Denver that's both a fixer and zoned for an ADU. So they're listed at 475. 475? Yeah. Given the price point, turning the garage into an ADU. Oh, okay. Would be what you would want to do. Definitely further away from where I am now from work. We're not that far. This area seems kind of industrial, it is. right? Yeah. Which doesn't feel great, FYI. It's so small. You have to give it at least a chance. Okay. I like the porch. Sit out here in the summer, have a glass of wine. Okay. Wow, that's pretty impressive that somebody, all that work into yeah, that molding. I've never seen that before. A lot of wow. detail. You have the two bedrooms up here and then one bathroom. Huh, interesting. Uh -huh. Yeah. Is this the primary? Is this gonna be the largest I mean, room in the house? This, this will be your largest. Oh. Your bathroom's, you know. Tiny. A little odd they for like configuration. Blue. This house is extremely small. I mean, I don't know if Brooks has seen Bruno or not, but he's a big dog. And this space feels very cramped. The only thing that I could see possible is going yeah. out this way. That actually you've might got, be. You've got space here. That actually is a really good idea. Mm -hmm. And then the kitchen is <laughs> just that much more small. It's just a small. Everything's so tiny. Right. So let's uh, let's see some of that vision of yours. <laughs> Where is that? I think definitely a full gut, just because, yeah. I mean, I don't like any of the aesthetics, so the cabinets, countertop, everything has to go anyways. Right. So I'm thinking if I knock down these walls and do some sort of center island, and it'll just give more space. Right, and then you've got laundry back here. I actually really like how big this area yeah. is. I could even maybe do like a dog bath for yeah. Bruno. Yeah. How close is the back door to here? Right oh, here. Oh, sweet, I love that. So yeah, you could come in off the, you know, car Okay, I'm warming up to this home. We go check out the yeah. basement? Let's do it. Okay. You definitely need to duck. <laughs> this is be careful, gonna be please. tight. Oh my. Oh yes. Wow. You got this open space. All right. Wow. This is some backyard we got here. I mean, if you turn this into an ADU, you could really do a good job of keeping the space separate, yeah. you know? Yeah. And if they could have their own parking, take a peek. Okay. Ooh. Can you go vertical? Mm -hmm. You can, okay. Yep. So I can do like, a, if I wanted to pop the top and do like a loft oh, yeah. or something, I and can do that. And then leave leave garage space yeah, yeah. if you wanted underneath it. To turn the garage into an ADU, I would guess it'd be right around $125,000. I would recommend she lives in the main house while she's building the ADU. And then once the ADU is built, then just move into there, fix up this house. It's kind of a win-win situation. There's this one Victorian in West City Park. You know how I'm a sucker for these older homes. The charm. The it's charm. so charming. Yes. So cute, right? 700,000. So it's my max. Based off of the condition of the home right now, we're pushing probably 150, potentially 200,000 if I want to add like the special things that I want in the right. house. So what were the upsides of this one? There's an ADU already on the property, recently built. So Bruno and I would be living in the ADU while renovations were going on in the main house. Okay. And then what else are we looking at? 
So the other one is completely turnkey, right? So it's a duplex. Main floor would be my living space. Second floor is the rental. Completely finished, which, you know, it's great. I wouldn't have to worry about it. On the other hand, I'm like, well, where do I get to add my personal touch to everything? Sure. So, but Brooks was saying twenty two to $2,400 a month I could rent that space for the out ADU? for. For the ADU? For the ADU. Wow. The garage was amazing. So I could set up a home gym in the garage, which is great. Which is huge. Yeah. And, um, then, and then next on the list, I saw this cute bungalow, which financially makes complete sense. 475, everything needs to be redone. Kitchen needs to be redone, bathroom needs to be redone. But then you get to put your personal touch on it, right? Yeah, totally. So it's like a tough spot, right? And to top it off, like I don't love the neighborhood. What is the ADU situation on that one? So I would have to build it, which is why the 475 is so appealing because right. I'll have plenty of money to set aside. Well, I think I think the big thing is you could live through a renovation or you could just move into a house and start living and making money. This is a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. Oh, we have friends coming over, let's go. I decided on the Victorian. At the end of the day, the feels overpowered the finances and I just love all the character that this house brings to the table. Hello. Hey you guys. How are you? Oh, look at this. So the home was listed for 700,000. I put an offer in at 690 and it was accepted. I'm gonna open up this wall. Modern vintage. There you go. There you go. While I'm doing the demo work, as soon as that's finished and the contractors will come in and do their thing, the renovation costs are probably looking between 150 to 200,000. It's not necessarily where I was aiming for, but you know, we'll make it work.